Very similar to that of a servlet, a JSP has three life cycle methods. The first one is JSP init, second one underscore JSP service, and then the JSP destroy method. So any initialization code should go into the JSP init method. You can pass init parameters, very similar to how, do we, how you do it in servlets through web.xml and those init parameters will be loaded into the servlet config object and that config object is handed over to your JSP's JSP init method. Then underscore JSP service method is very uh, similar to the service method. It gets called once per every user request that comes in whereas the JSP init is called only the first time the JSP is invoked by a user or JSP serves a particular user. The container calls the JSP destroy method when the container unloads the JSP or the container is shut down. Just before it is being shut down, the container calls the JSP underscore, sorry, JSP destroy method. The underscore is only for the JSP service method. There are two ways in which JSP destroy is called. It is either by unloading, by going to the admin tools of a particular JSP container like weblogic, webspear or tomcat, the administrator can unload a JSP. That is when JSP destroy is called or even when a server is shut down. And these two, very similar to that of a servlet, are called only once in the life cycle of a JSP, whereas the underscore JSP service method is called multiple times.